Well, we turn now to a Fox 5 I-Team exclusive. Major new developments in the case against former Insurance Commissioner Jim Beck. Now, late today, a federal grand jury handed up a superseding indictment against Beck, accusing him of five new charges. And senior I-Team reporter Del Russell has been investigating Beck for more than a year now. Here with the latest. Del? Russ, former insurance commissioner Jim Beck was already facing tough legal challenges. Now he faces new allegations, a total of 43 counts that he will have to defend. He's alleged to have perpetrated a fraud for five years involving his closest associates and his family members. In May, a federal grand jury indicted Beck on 38 counts of mail fraud, wire fraud, and money laundering. The indictment alleges Beck set up a web of companies with friends and family to do business with an insurance company he was managing, Georgia Underwriting Association, or GUA. In total, Mr. Beck defrauded the GUA out of more than $2 million. Governor Kemp suspended Beck and appointed John King as the new commissioner. Beck pleaded not guilty to the charges. He intends to fight the charges um, and we deny the charges. Now a second superseding indictment, which replaces the first indictment. This one, there's a new mail fraud charge. The indictment charges Beck used funds from the Georgia Arson Control Program. Now that's housed within GUA, the company he was managing. He used them to buy $4,200 worth of campaign yard signs for his insurance commissioner's race, 1,500 of them. There are also four new charges related to the filing of false tax returns. The indictment claims Beck filed false documents when filing his taxes for four years, from 15, 2015 to 2017. The indictment claims Beck overstated his expenses and substantially understated his business profits. Now, I've reached out to one of his attorneys to see if they had any comment on this new indictment. We have not heard back from them, and U.S. Attorney B.J. Pack was not available for comment at the time that we were able to get our hands on this indictment. Russ Sine, 